Brian Kelly shocking the college football world, leaving Notre Dame for LSU. This is Notre Dame football. This is one of the more historic programs in football history. Who should Notre Dame target as their next head coach? Your brand new head football coach! <laughs> What was it like to be in the middle of that mosh pit of emotion? That's, that's what it's about for me. You know, it was a chance to be a teammate with those guys, to be around your players, for them to know that you're in this fight with them. And that's who I am as a leader. Marcus Freeman spent a lifetime rising before dawn learning from his family that the work done in darkness will eventually come to light. With my father being in the military, we had routine, we had structure, and then part of those days were him waking up, me and my brother up at five something in the morning and, and running in place while he finished his workout, and then we began our workouts. Those are memories that last forever. If you would listen to Marcus, you'd think that I you know, they had to march back and forth to school <laughs> and things of this nature. And that's not the way it was. Uh, they had a lot of freedom, but, you know, we did have standards in our house. Born and raised in Columbus, Ohio, Marcus's dad, Mike, joined the Air Force at age 17. He'd served for 26 years. During his second tour in South Korea, he met Chong. I was stationed at Osan Air Base, and John was going through nursing school and trying to learn English at the same time. Over a period of time, we took a liking to each other and then um, thought our future would be better together. Mike and Chong married in South Korea in 1977. Two years later, they moved to the United States. The Freemans would eventually settle in Dayton, Ohio in 1983 where they taught life lessons from their different backgrounds to their two boys, Michael and Marcus. It's an ultimate display of sacrifice and selflessness. That's what I think about when I think about my mom and her journey to the United States. I think about her working multiple jobs, her getting up early to go to work, and you know, for us to help her work her third job, uh, you know, being a custodian. I wanted them to see me how hard working mom and daddy survive in this country. When their kids was little, I said, I want you guys to go to college, get a degree and a professional job. Marcus always say, Mom, I don't need to go to school. I want to go play football all day long. The confluence of discipline, work ethic, and ability gave Marcus Freeman an opportunity to play college football. As a recruit, he chose Ohio State over Notre Dame and Michigan. My heart was for the Buckeyes, and when he chose the Buckeyes, I was very happy. Number one, Marcus Freeman again. The Bears drafted Freeman in the fifth round in 2009, but he retired the following year due to an enlarged heart condition. Freeman then returned to Ohio State as a graduate assistant. His ability to connect with players and maximize their production led to a precipitous rise from Ohio State to Kent State to Purdue to Cincinnati before taking the Notre Dame defensive coordinator job in 2021. In December of that year, he ascended to head coach at age 35. Hey, what's up, baby? Oh. Along the way, Marcus and his wife Joanna grew their family, now proud parents of six children who have become fixtures on campus. If I can have a couple kids around, I want them around. If you can be around and see dad and, and I can in between periods run over and give you a kiss or say hello to you, that's all I want. He's done a good job of creating that. And it's kind of funny when the kids come to the office, They'll say hi to him or grab some candy from his office, and then they're all over the place because it's not just to come see dad. It's 
you know, to walk the halls, it's to go see the players. So they're very, very involved. Usually in the morning, I try to really reflect on the things you got to get done today. And, you know, this is obviously a day that has been in the making for a long time. So let's get going, um, you know, and begin this, this process to this 22 season. When you're on this field, in between the white lines, we choose hard, everything we do. Everybody good? Let's go to work. Day one, let's go to work. He finds little moments throughout the practices or things like that. Like, he makes an effort to be able to connect with each guy. This is your last day one. Last day one. Yeah, let's go. I never had a coach be this close with me. He really is a player's coach. I can just go to him for anything. I can go in his office. He's always open, open ears for everything. We will have you ready, Game Week. We'll have you ready, Game Week. I promise you that. But from now until then, we have to go, and we have to build, and we have to build, and we have to build. So we're just going to do more, more, more. So we got to understand that, OK? This is what it's going to take to reach our goals. Let's keep going to work. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The stadium Marcus played in and his dad worked at as an usher in the 1950s is the same place Marcus will usher in a new era of Notre Dame football, just not on the sideline the Freemans are accustomed to. It's not about my time at Ohio State. That's not what it's about. It's about taking this football team and this program to Columbus, Ohio to face a great opponent. And guess what? There's no better way to measure yourself than to play a great team like Ohio State, and I'm excited for it.